Here we go on another update. This time is for a battery on the low C here and also uh, the Stampede as well. So I've been looking at running 6S in the cars. I've only run 4S in the Stampede and I guess 4S also in the low C here. And so I picked up a battery off of Amazon, the Florian uh, 6S. So I'm gonna get that unboxed and hopefully the battery is good. I'll plug it into the battery checker thing and we'll take a look at the cells out of the box and I think we're good. The only problem of course is wonderful shipping decided that they were just gonna like body slam the package, but the battery seems like it's probably pretty well protected in there. So let's get that opened up and find out. There is the battery up close. So it's a 6S, so six cell, uh, LiPo 4,500 milliamps and 45C discharge rate. It does have the XT60 connector on there. So I'm gonna swap that out for Dean's. You can get that with Dean's connector as well. But when I ordered it, it wasn't until afterward that I realized that I ordered the wrong one. So that's all right, I'll live with that. And let's plug this thing in and take a look and find out what the voltages are. Looks like we're at 36%, which is fantastic. And we'll switch through through each cell. So this is cell one, 3.849. So it looks like every single cell in here is really well matched. So that's really cool to see. So that gives the total voltage and that gives the minimum uh, or the cell with the lowest voltage and the cell with the highest voltage and the difference between them. So 0.017 is really good on a battery pack. And I'm pretty impressed with the fact that it came out of the box like that. And so we should have really good results with this. So I'm gonna get this charged up. And of course, after a couple uses, then we'll find out if any of the batteries are having issues. And if so, then we'll report back. And either way, if we're not having problems, then we'll still report back and kind of go over the, the uh, quality on that and how it's been performing. All right, and with the weekend here, I finally get a chance to play with the 6S battery here. So I've got it plugged into the charger. Obviously I haven't swapped that out yet and getting everything set up. So should be pretty good. We'll go through and verify here on our high-tech charger, asking us to make sure that it's 6S, which it is. And if you of course select that it's not, it will beep and say, hey, you're an idiot and there's a problem. And there you go, there's the cell voltages, everything looking really good and I mean, right on the money, 3.86, 8.6, 8.7, 8 8.5. So all of the cells are very well balanced straight out of the box and we'll keep charging here and see what we end up at and how all the charging and everything goes. And also for this battery, I am charging it at uh, a 1C rate, so 4.5 amps, which it's charger is ramping up right now, but it'll hit 4.5 here in this minute. I failed to point out one thing and I kind of briefly mentioned it. I said I was gonna be charging at 1C. Unfortunately, with this high-tech charger, I'm limited to 100 watts per channel and it's split. So I can do 100 watts between channels A and C and 100 watts between D and B. And right now I have all 100 watts going to or towards A. But for a 6S battery, I cannot uh, charge it at the full 1C rate while plugged into the wall. Now, if I was uh, out in the field or using my car battery or my bench 12-volt uh, power supply, which I usually do, then I'd be able to bump this up to 150 watts per channel, but right now I'm limited. So one downside of using the high-tech uh, X4AC Pro when you're plugged into the wall. And the Florion battery is now fully balanced, charged. The charger finished up in 33 minutes and battery took 1700 milliamps. And of course you can toggle around. Let's take a look at those cells. And everything is right at 4.20 or 1.9. So that's uh, it's spot on and exactly where it should be. And let's take a look at resistance and everything's looking pretty good there with low resistance. Obviously the higher that gets, 
uh, the worse that your battery pack is off and sometimes you can even tell when there's a cell that's bad because one will be super high and the other ones will be okay or of course you can see if a cell is puffy or something like that but everything here is all set all i've got to do now is swap out this plug for dean's and throw it in the truck and uh, beat the heck out of it and see how it works all right out here got the battery fully charged so this is the 6s florian uh 4500 milliamp battery and we're going to be trying it on the low c uh xxl 2e here it's brushless it's running the mamba uh, X setup on it. So this is gonna be the first time that I've used a 6S with this truck. I've done 4S and 5S before, which is pretty cool, but try out 6S and should really kind of open this thing up. So hopefully nothing breaks. I did bring a battery checker thing so that way I can check to see what the battery voltage is after we use it for a little bit so that we can kind of see how the battery cells are doing themselves. So we'll be doing that. So go it out here, uh, bash this thing around and see how it does on this battery. So it's definitely got a lot more kick to it uh, with the 6S. I mean, it's hard to even really get on the throttle without the thing getting super out of here. So overall, pretty cool, works really well. And just my luck, you can see the tires starting to uh, come off of there, so it was getting pretty wobbly. Otherwise, the rest of it looks like it's holding up pretty well. So let me, uh, I guess, jam that back on there. Obviously, I'm gonna have to re-glue that, but uh, definitely gonna affect our session for today. Um, but I've been beating on this thing for quite a while now, and so I'm kind of not surprised that this happened. But overall, still pretty cool, so I'll get the tire back on, bash a little bit, and uh, check back in on the battery voltages. All right, so I'll finish up the, the session here. I don't have my temp gun with me. The battery is warm, but it's not hot or anything like that by any means. Um, motor and speed control feel pretty good too. Granted, I wasn't really beating on it super hard, but it is, it's really hot out here. It's 95, like I was saying. So temps are hot, but let's take a look and see what this battery registers at. All right, so it looks like we have a total voltage of 22.99 and each cell 3.83. 3.82, 82, 83, 82, 84. So all of them right there. And looks like the highest cell and the lowest cell, uh, there's a 0 0.018 difference between them, which is pretty darn good. I mean, it even registers on here that there's like a 0% difference between that. So pretty cool. Um, the Florian battery did an awesome job. And uh, you know, if you're looking for a battery to try out and, and use this might be something that you want to want to check out and try out in your uh, your cars and I mean you can see this the Mamba X setup so it's a pretty high demand on here this is a 45c battery but it's also a 6s um, so it should have no problem supplying all the current needs and everything for the truck 